In this session, let's understand about diagnostic data. What is diagnostic data? Diagnostic data is the set of information generated by the Oracle database which is used to diagnose or research the errors occurred in the database. Yes, as the database is up and running, it writes lot of information into the files so that later on the DBS can review those files and look for the errors. If there are any errors, obviously the DBS can research more and find out the reason for those errors. Right? Yes, this is one of the important functionality of a Oracle database. It writes all the diagnostic information into the files. Okay? It writes information like the current state of the database, when the database started, the parameters used to start the database, when the redo logs were switched, when the backup happened, and also the various warning messages and error messages. Yes, all such kind of useful information is recorded in these diagnostic files so that later on the DBA can review those files and look for errors. Okay? Basically, using this information, the DBA can assess the total health of the database. Okay? So, what are those diagnostic files? They are your alert logs, trace files, core dump files and other kind of files. Okay? Alert logs. These alert logs contain all the messages, errors, incidents occurred in the database. They are stored in the chronological order. Whenever you get any issues, alert logs are the first set of files where you need to go and check for the errors. Okay? Before 11G, these alert logs were text-based files. But starting with 11G, it is an XML file. Okay? Next one, trace files. Whenever the database is up and running, we know lot of processes will run in the database. The process are your background processes, server processes, user processes. Some of the examples of processes are your recovery manager, log writer, right? Yes, these individual processes can generate diagnostic data and that diagnostic data is stored in the trace file. This trace file contains about the various information related to the specific process. It also contains the state of the process, whether it is up and running or if that process is throwing any errors. Okay? Each trace file has a unique name. So, depending upon your need, you need to look at the right trace file. Okay? And also, if you want to manually generate the trace files, we can do that. Example, if I want to run a SQL statement and find out how the SQL statement is executing, yes, I can enable the trace and then once the trace is written in the trace files, I can go to the trace file and take a look at how the SQL has executed. Okay? The final one, core dump files. Whenever a severe error or an incident occurs in the Oracle database, the Oracle database will dump all the error related information into the core dump files. Okay, normally for the regular errors and warnings, it doesn't write into these core dump files. Only whenever the Oracle database faces severe errors, that is when it dumps all the error related information into this core dump files. Okay, some of them are text based files and some of them are binary related files. Normally, the DBA cannot understand the information present in the core dump files. So, what is it used for? Whenever there is a severe incident and we want to research the issue, we take the core dump files and we send it to Oracle. They are the experts in the Oracle database. They diagnose these core dump files and then advise us on what is the solution. Okay? Apart from these three important files, there are some other kind of files which are used to store various diagnostic information. Okay?